Should I open it? Got it! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
feeling great. What the hell you want? You dolt! Ready to run! Cool. Time to go present for you. Make it this far. But a little death is here! Cool. Let's do this, guys! You got it! I can do this! Do you Prepare yourself! It's showtime! Oh. Don't get all! Ready, Let's go! This will be Don't get caught! Oh god, I'm bleeding! Oh god, I'm bleeding! And picking time! Learner. I'm all fired. Should I open it? Sweet. Okay. Do your work! 
I'm even stronger now. Your wave's down. Should I open it? Got it. Let's go, little lady. You got a ticket for Nelly Island. One way. <laughs> Lonnie! Gatsuka. Uh, you got some shiny brass ones coming this far. I'll give you that much. Sorry, but you're gonna have to turn your ass around and head back. If you don't, who knows what might happen to the girl. Are we supposed to believe you'd kill her when she's due on the boat? You're under orders to bring Lonnie to Nelly Island, alive and well. Achan pulled that same crap on us, unfortunately for you. Am I wrong? Bryce is the only one making decisions, isn't he? You are nothing but a pawn to him. What a bunch of fools. When you think back on this, remember, it was your own damn fault. Money! Shit! Good going, that was beautiful! This is why children need to learn discipline. What hope do they have? When all the adults think they're heroes! You know something? In Hawaii every year, sharks only attack three, four people at most. I think we can do better than that. Let's set an all-time record. All you heroes, you're nothing but goddamn shark food! I'm gonna rip you to shreds! Okay, you asked for it. Cool. But you oh. can ah. I can do this! You scared? You're in it now. Don't 
It's okay to come out now. Uh, the bad guys are, uh, taking a nap. Mr. Kosuga? I know it was scary. Are you feeling all right? Are you hurt? Mm-mm. That's good. Akane-san's been so worried about you. Want to come back now? Yeah. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> no trouble at all. Look who's here! <gasps> Lani! Akane! I'm so glad you're safe! <sighs> Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Akane! <sighs> Forgive me, Lani. I can't imagine what you've been through. You're okay. 
Mm-hmm. Mr. Kosaka rescued me. <gasps> Thank you, Ichiban. Eh, just keeping my word. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well done. You saved the day, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I made you a promise. Oh, hey! Lani-chan wants to say hi, I bet. Feel like talking to her? No. Not yet, at least. Lani still isn't out of the woods, sorry to say. I won't breathe easy until then. You're right. Malikana's still infesting the whole town. Hawaii's not safe for us. Not with them around. Lonnie could get taken again. I see. Kasuga. Are Akane san and Lonnie ready to come to Japan? For the both of them, Japan will be much more secure. Yeah, no doubt about it. Problem is, we're not sure we can use the airports anymore. The Daidoji faction safe house was bugged by Aichan, so they must know all our plans. That private jet of theirs is too vulnerable. In fact, I bet Bryce is drooling over the chance to sabotage it. That could be. But Lonnie needs to get out of there somehow, before they close in. Time's not on our side. Okay, I'll find a way, I promise. Thanks. I think we got most of that. Hawaiian vacation's over. But the question is how we leave. Ichiban's right. Planes are no-go. What about ships, then? Can we hop a cruise to Japan? Any method of travel with other passengers or crew would be a risk. Maybe the Fujinomiya could charter us another private jet or something. Not an option. It's what they call an impasse. Not your concern. What, are you kicking us out? You're so cold to me, Tomizawa-kun. Would it thaw your heart if I said I could get you to Japan? Uh, really? Does this strike you as the appropriate time to mock us? Don't mean mug me, son. You still think I can't be trusted? Fine. Good luck to you all. Stop. I want to hear your plan. Shh. Come on, Ichiban. Tomi, I get why this is hard for you. But your mice helped us a lot already. Can we please just hear him out? I guess so. Okay, then. How do you plan to get us back to Japan, Yamai? Simple. I got a boat of my own. I'll give you a ride. Your boat? Yeah. Pretty little tugboat. We took it as collateral for a loan once. Never had much cause to use it before. Which means old Bryce don't know about it. That is somewhat promising. Hawaii is 6,000 kilometers from Japan, though. A tugboat can't make that trip. But it can get you off the mainland. After that, you fly home courtesy of Japan's Coast Guard. It's already arranged. The Coast Guard? Wait a sec. What's already arranged? This all seems way too easy. I don't have to explain myself. It's an offer. You can take it, or leave it. This is some kind of trick that's really fucked up. Hmm. What do you say, Kasuga? It sounds perfect. Doubt I'd know you'd say that. You're a credulous man. What am I gonna do? We haven't got anything better. Kiryu-san said it already. Time's not our friend. Besides... Besides what? Like it or not, you earned my trust. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty alike. Huh? You and me, we're both willing to carry the load for someone, right? You half-wit. If I thought we were alike, I'd eat a bullet. All right, okay, point made. But our answer's still yes. We good? We leave tomorrow morning. Make sure you're all ready to go. Thanks. So, everybody in? 
Seriously? What's the point of asking now? <laughs> For real? I've got to get packed. Who knows how long I'll be away? The complaints aside, we're together on this, yeah? Yamai still creeps me out, but Ichiban knows I'll follow. Oh yeah, we've been through so much by now. What's one more bad idea? Exactly. As I said, you have the most reliable allies, no? Oh yeah! Hey. Okay. What's that? Nice going out there. Welcome. Thanks. Aloha. Apologies for the wait. Bryce will know something's up by now. Let's get going. Boss, be careful out there. We'll be praying for your safe return. Keep your goddamn voices down, and don't die before I'm back. Boss, good luck! <sighs> Boss! Ichiban! I wish you well! Uh, tell me? Are you serious? Why aren't you in the boat? Because! This is my home. What am I doing going to Japan? Wait, isn't your father Japanese? You never wanted to see the homeland? I think about it sometimes, maybe, but it's still a foreign country. Don't think about that right now, okay? It's dangerous. We need you with us. Thinking about things, Tomi. Oh, okay, okay. If you guys really insist, I've got no choice. <laughs> it's 
It's obvious you just wanted to make us beg, you know. <laughs> Admit it. The nervous homebody act is pretty cute. <laughs> I'll stuff you in a suitcase next time. Pretty far out here. Yeah, that's the idea. Hopefully we can reach the Japan Coast Guard unseen. I'd hold that thought. Cavalry's coming. Huh? <sighs> Dwight. <sighs> Stubborn bastard. Hit the brakes! You stay inside. You might. Look after them. Better make it quick. We shouldn't linger. These are feeding grounds. Feeding grounds? My advice? Stay clear of the water. I don't follow. But okay. Let's go! You weren't planning on leaving, were you? Not even a goodbye, Kasuga? <laughs> Far as I'm concerned, you and I already said our goodbyes, and then some. Dwight, you dick! Where do you get off showing up here? Need I remind you, I've still got you a little glamour shot. <laughs> Tomizawa, <laughs> that was it, huh? You folks don't understand loose ends. A real man never leaves things hanging. I should have stuck that machete into your heart. Huh. Hawaii might have thanked you. Ever since I came here, I've taken everything by force and never left nothing half done. Real impressive. Sounds like we need to teach you how to tell when it's time to quit! <laughs> you couldn't teach me shit on your best day! <laughs> Besides, take a look at all the men I still got! Shark? Don't tell me. The feeding grounds? Look around. More coming. No. No way. <laughs> Interesting turn of events, I'd say. <laughs> Guess you fucks are gonna be chum twice over. Barracuda and shark feet both. Rest, dude. Uh, hmm? Are you getting scared? Oh, oh shit! Time to the go damn out. thing jumped aboard. Watch it, Tommy. Don't get too close. Come on, come on. Bring it.
sap all you can! Your legs dumb, the dumb bucket! <laughs> Break yourself! Over, pal. Now what? Gonna beg Bryce for forgiveness? <laughs> Funny how easily you say his name. That man has no forgiveness in him. Not for me, or for you. I get that Polycana's big in Hawaii and everything. Still, though, you talk about him like he really is some kind of prophet. And you haven't got a clue. To you, Bryce must seem like some kind of small-time con man, leeching off true believers. So, that sounds about right. Polycana has more power than you could ever imagine. The Sage, he's more monster than he is a man. What? <laughs> You'll see for yourself before it's all over. Like they say, believe. And you shall be saved. Mm. Too late for me. I've let him down too often. <laughs> All of Hawaii will burn before long! <laughs> I hear the slopes of Switzerland are beautiful this time of the year! <laughs> what a jerk! Throws his own people to the sharks. Quiet. Keep watching. Am I? Sharks have a peculiar way of looking at the world, you know. Most just hunt by scent. But if they happen to catch something casting a bright light at sea... Huh? All 
all that flashy jewelry of his sure did shine real pretty at night. He goddamn draped himself with dinner bells. There, the man who would be king ends his sorry life as shark shit. People come swarming to paradise trying to suck it dry. But no matter how tough they are, there's still nothing to an island's natural guardians. How's that for a moral? Well now, those natural guardians gave you a pass this time. Maybe they appreciate the help. So, you gonna hang on to that picture of his? Yeah, not for long. Let the dead rest in peace. You pissed, ain't? We actually made it. This is Japanese soil, right? Yep. Official air base of the Japan Coast Guard. We're really home. Ah. So this is Japan. It's pretty dreary, to be honest. Are you serious? Past the airport, at least. It's very curious. Yamai procuring this route so conveniently. You got a point. Uh, hey. <gasps> huh? Wait a second. Hi there, Adachi-san. And you, Ichiban Kasuga. Been a while. I see. This must be Lonnie. Date-san? Mako-chan! The hell are you doing here? Hmm. Yamai didn't fill you both in? Hey, Yamai. Let's get this over with, Inspector. Yutaki Yamai, I presume. But to put a face to the name. I'm with Division One, Makoto Date. Yeah, that's me. So you're Date-san, huh? Mm-hmm. Didn't believe my ears when I got your call. Yutaki Yamai, you confessed to the murder of Shuji Tabata? Yep. I'm the one who offed Tabata. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Can we slow down? Somebody want to explain what's happening? This isn't exactly information for the public. I suppose you all hardly qualify as that. Yamai was once Tojo clan, serving in the Tabata family. You were aware of that? Yeah. He killed his patriarch and fled the country, right? You already know that much. This will be quick. Following that, Yamai spent nearly the next three decades overseas, until just recently calling to give himself up after all this time. In fact, he asked for me by name. You what? Always heard you were a decent enough guy for a detective. Spare me, would you? Murder or not, 30 years is an eternity. The file was collecting dust. When the call first came in, I almost brushed it off as a prank and hung up. Then, he started describing details on this case most cops aren't even old enough to remember. So I knew, it really must be am I after all this time. He gave us one condition for surrender. That the police assist in discreetly bringing a small party into the country alongside him. But we had no reason to agree. America has a long-standing extradition treaty with us. Bringing in Yamai through the proper channels would be simple. Of course, when I told him we refused his condition, he insisted it was non-negotiable. <sighs> At that point, I considered forgetting the call entirely. But maybe I'm a fool for a last chance on a cold case. I have an acquaintance of the Coast Guard I was able to work something out with. <sighs> Haven't had to bow my head so much in a long time. Uh, seriously? You really turned yourself in on a murder charge to get us all into Japan safely? Tell me, Sawakun. Don't give me them fucking eyes. 
I'm just an old criminal, tired of hiding. Yeah, maybe so, but still, I just can't believe that... Imagine my surprise when he told me who the party was. <sighs> well, that pretty much covers it. <sighs> Yamai, I'm placing you under arrest. Come along. Hmm? Detective, all these years and you never learned not to trust killers? Huh? Oh! Yamai! Sir, are you okay? Get after you, my damn it! Whoa, hold on! Tomi? I can get him to come back. Just give me a little time, please. Excuse me? No, he's a fugitive. But believe me, that man does not run away from responsibility. I should know better than anyone being his goddamn errand boy. There has to be something going on. <sighs> Stop it! Yamai can deal with this himself. We're so close to getting home. Indeed. Our priority here is Akane-san and Lani's protection, not his. Date-san, let us get him back. He brought us all this way. I'm not going to leave him on his own. Ichiban! Chiton, Junki, you're right. But after this, if we don't calm the situation down ourselves, they'll start a brand new manhunt. I owe Yamai too much for that. I'm sorry. I can't abandon him. Ah, <sighs> oh, Ichiban. Screw this! Move aside! Wait. Date-san? Kiri, you filled me in on all the details. This girl, Lonnie, he's been risking his life to bring her to safety. <sighs> Is Yamai really more important to you than coming through for him? They're both important. You can't make me choose just one. I don't need reminding. He entrusted me with Akane-san and Lani, no one else. We're split into two groups. Let me handle Yamai. He isn't brought back soon. My superiors may consider you his accomplices. Understand? Yeah, loud and clear. Uh-huh. Hmm. Those eyes. They're the kind that look for trouble, just the same as his. Adachi-san, I barely know Kasuga, and the other one even less. You're the person I'm betting on. Am I making a mistake here? Nope. Mako-chan, one thing I can guarantee you, you're a good bet. Adachi-san. You've always been too trusting. You're one to talk. Hey, Kasuga. Sir. You might could have run off to a lot of places, but I checked with you to bottom myself. That name. Yamai was in love with her, right? That's right. If Yamai regrets anything he had to leave behind, I imagine that it's her. Thank you so much! You, is there a toilet around here? Stomach's been acting up all morning. The toilet, sir? Ugh. Bubbling like a cauldron down there. This'll take an hour or two, I'll bet. But wait, Dante-san! Mako-chan just gave us a two-hour time limit. You better move fast. Adachi-san, thank you for having our back. <laughs> I gotta come through sometimes, too, you know. Jungi, can Akane-san and Lani stay with you? May I expect your swift return? But where are we gonna look? If Yamai's after Yui Tabata, then he's headed to Kamurocho as the crow flies. Whatever's left of the Tabata family will be hanging around there. Got it! Let's hurry! Okay. 
Hmm. Adachi-san. Yeah. 